Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft Let's Play episode. As you can see, my trees are dying. <laughs> I love beta. It's made me so happy. No more punching leaves for me. And all the saplings I can handle. <laughs> this will make my original tree farm design more viable. One of those big ones in open spaces. Which I definitely plan on building now that these work. Oh, thank God. You have no idea, well, I'm sure most of you have an idea of how annoying it is to punch all these leaves all the time. Why isn't this one decaying? It's because it has the top leaf? I have no idea. Oh well. Um, on to more exciting news. Um, I plan on having a Christmas special movie or video coming by tomorrow if I can help it. I'm not sure how well that release date's going to work since I honestly just started working on it today. But hopefully things work out well. Uh, my only problem is one of my ideas uh, might not work so well, considering Tree Decay has finally been fixed. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I actually didn't plan on doing anything for a Christmas special because I couldn't think of anything to be honest. But the other night <laughs> I was actually dreaming about Minecraft, and I was actually struck with inspiration. Oddly enough. I don't know, I guess it's Christmas Eve and everything. I've just been playing way too much lately. Regardless, I'm sure all of you will be quite surprised. I have a couple of ideas you're all going to love. Although, I might need more than... it. In other words, it, it might be light, but I think you guys would rather be more impressed than have it early. So, we'll go ahead and... Uh, I'm, I'm going to take my time with it. Well, I'm going to rush, but... I'm going to try to make it work well. I've also been trying to use um, what is it? Uh, mine uh, MC Edit to make everything look more Christmassy for it, but I've been having a lot of problems with it, so I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Uh, oh yes, hold on. Let me go ahead and fix this. There we go. Move the cloud line back down. Okay, I uh, went ahead and built these towers. Uh, I filmed it while I was doing it, but Fraps was, um, well, a lot of you know I have problems with Fraps all the freaking time where it just won't record sound. I have no idea why. I have the most updated version and everything, but I don't know. As you can see, I built these towers. I think they look rather nice. I'm thinking about replacing the wooden beams with, uh, stone, since it's so it'll look more sturdy, but it still looks rather nice, in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and come up here. I'll show you guys a little bit more. Uh, originally, I had this uh, filled in all the way, and it was just kind of a stone cone. But instead, I decided to open this up and put a uh, glass here because it looked nice and let light in. Plus, the cool thing is, uh, some of these, pretty much all of the, all the stone blocks except the ones with the posts, are step blocks. And step blocks are strange. They actually let light in through them. So there, it's not like a solid block, which, in other words, this is not dark at all, and it's still rather nice looking. Plus, I can still jump up on the edges and rain death upon my enemies, or sheep in this case, or various other barnyard animals. I uh, yeah, also started putting these up. I'm not sure how well they look, considering it's an even number I have to put, so I always have to put double in the middle, or none at all, which I'm not so sure about. I put these torches here just for now. I'm not sure how they look. Again, I, I could get you got your opinion, which I always love to hear what my fans think and what I should do. Um, a lot of you said you don't like the support beams, so I took out all of the support beams for most of them. The only problem is it, it, it looks good. It looks better, but it doesn't look like it's a sturdy tower at all. I'm not sure. Uh, again, it's up to you guys if you like it or not. I left this one just for an example. It doesn't look as pretty, but it looks like an actual defensive tower. Although, I don't know, like I said, these support beams could look better. Oh yes, a lot of you were wondering last video on how to make the beams look like that. All you pretty much do, real quick, I'll, I'll just do a quick tutorial since it isn't complicated. You build blocks as ever high as you want, then you can just put it on top, dig away one, put it on top, dig away, and then put it pretty much like that. You build it from the top up. But, uh... It's pretty simple to do, so I don't, don't really need to go into details. Um, I didn't really have... Oh, yes. Uh, like I said, I've been planning on making my cow statue, if you remember in my last video. 
it's I didn't really I'm not having problems with it it's just that I'm trying to figure out the dimensions because once I figure that out making it or replicating it shouldn't be that big of a problem or deal rather and also let's see what else um oh yes uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is just take a picture of a cow and count all the pixels, which is going to be a big pain in the butt. But uh, one of you, or some of you, I'm not sure how many of you, have been having problems trying to get the double doors to work like this for in the corners for your base. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick rundown, because I've actually figured out a way how to make all this better and more efficient. So I'll go ahead and show you. And Apparently I just messed up that redstone, so let me fix this real quick. Also, if you've noticed, I uh, I switched the item pack back to uh, pantry, so everything looks nice. Well, it looked nice before, I just, a lot of people didn't like the tools or the weapons, and I kind of had to agree with that. But okay, let me let me show you guys real quick how everything works. Again, you could probably make this better if you want, but essentially this is what happens. The pressure plate is here, right on this block. From here, you split it forward pointing directly at this block, which is the one with the torch right under the door. So you dig out the space under the door and put a torch on this side of the block. And then you come from here going backwards, and then you drop down, make a torch, a redstone torch, and clear this out, put redstone coming up, pointing directly at this one, which is the one with the uh, torch under this door. Um, and it inverts the power so this one stays closed otherwise it would be open as you can see here so we need to have it inverted power so let's go ahead and put this back again you can pretty much just take this and put it over here if you have to let me uh, switch the clouds back so I don't have any problems uh, then what you do is it's pretty simple uh, once you have this working on the other side what you do is let me get rid of this dirt here is the switch on this one, right here. Under it, you put a uh, redstone wiring. You come out, dig down one, put a redstone torch here. Bring that down, put a uh, redstone wiring here. Come down with another torch and reroute the wiring all the way to the original pressure plate. So when the signal sends, it activates here and sends it out directly to where it needs to go. You don't need these torches here. In fact, you don't need it at all. But I put these here kind of as a, a repeater because every set of torches you have makes the signal slower so the doors don't slam in your face immediately as you try to get in or out. So let me go ahead and get back up here. Also, you have to be really careful when you're doing your wiring because if you misplace a block, then it might not work. You'll, you'll have the block messing up the signals so my advice is put as little mini blocks as you can and leave it really open and then just cover it up of course as you can see it works perfectly fine from both ends just wanted to show you guys this real quick oh hey it's night time let's go ahead and get a good view of everything because I've, I've added a lot more torches and light and I want to see what it looks like might have to add some torches up here or some sort of lighting I'm not sure so I'm not, I don't know if a monster can spawn here or not. Actually, an idea just struck me. I could put some torches here. Mm, perhaps a little bit of overkill, but it looks nice, symmetrical, and lit. It looks kind of nice, if you ask me. So I may do that with my other ones. But anyway, everything's lit. looks nice. I could use more lighting in the middle of that, but I don't know how I would go about doing that without making it look ugly anyway. Hey, there's sheep. Damn it, I forgot my bow or I'll shoot it right now. Um, oh yes, I have much more to show you as well. Um, actually, it's up here. Uh, I, I made just a staircase here for now because I got tired of climbing that ladder. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make a huge bridge... Crap. I fell. Um, I'm going to make a huge bridge outward. Then I'm going to have like a staircase going down. And I'm going to build ramparts around it to protect it. And I may, I definitely want to expand my land around my castle a little bit, because it, it feels too confined. So maybe just an extra block on each side. Um, actually, I added some recently. I'm not sure if it's enough or not, but anyway. Um, 
I think I'll have the ramparts going all the way to the side here, so you can come from here and walk around and shoot things. I think it would look nice and defensive. Um, not much more about that. I didn't really mess with the glass canopy much yet. I did have a bunch more other ideas for it. And I apologize that I haven't been building much on camera, because I know some of you like to see me as I build. But every time I've been trying to record a video, it just hasn't worked at all. Um, thanks to Fraps, because I tried recording audio with another program as I recorded just video with Fraps, but it didn't work out well. Let's just put it at that. As you can see here, this is my Ring of Faith, if you remember from my last video. I pretty much, well, let's go ahead and see from right here. And I always get scared I'm going to die. Ah, crap. Every time I do that, I swear I'm going to die. It's like, oh, crap. But uh, as you can see here, I... Huh, something's burning under there. I think it was a sheep. Uh, but anyway, uh, I moved the ring under two squares of water. That way it's hidden enough and it still has this mystical glowing from underwater look. I may fix that eventually, just make it a dark too, but for now, I like it. Uh, instead of putting signs, I used ladders since I didn't have any signs with me. And essentially, this is what it's going to be. When you jump down, it's this tube going underground, under the water level. I went ahead and started digging out some. I found the deepest part of the of the lake I'm building in, and I started digging one block under it. And I'm going to start building my underwater base here. Then, once I'm finished, I'm going to start building the dome above it. And that's pretty much it. Then I'm, of course, going to have to remove all this dirt, but if you see here, if I remove the block, I'm directly, the water just flows right in. I can float up, and you can see this is the lowest floor of the lake. But, um, I have lots of ideas for this, because at first I was like, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this underwater base when I finally build it. <clears throat> but I have a really good idea what I'm going to do, and I think you're going to like it. <clears throat> Essentially, what I'm going to do is make... Okay, hold on. Let me get over here so I don't have to swim. What I plan on doing is, as I said, I want it to have like a giant waterfall coming from the canopy going all the way down. And then from the water underwater base, you could shoot up with a motivator into there. But I didn't really like that idea. I mean, it was a good idea, but instead, what I'm going to do is in the middle of the underwater base, I'm going to have a water, uh, water coming into the base. Kind of like a little waterfall. That's going to be the motivator. And it would, um, whenever I put a boat there, it would f basically throw me up all the way to the surface. And of course, I could cruise around, go through my little tunnel there. Uh, then, over here, I was going to have like a little tunnel coming here. And have... Um, a huge waterfall coming down here which would look like a normal waterfall but it would come up into the canopy along the side as a little secret entrance and then of course it would be an entrance to my base so I'd have both and they would both look nice as well uh, let's see I was also thinking of having like glass along the edge here and <laughs> a pig and a sheep spawned right next to the lava and jumped into it <laughs> take that but no um Besides that, uh, I was thinking about like having a little bit of hollowed out space right there, and have the water flow, uh, the lava flowing down under it, so it would light up underwater as well, which would look kind of neat. I still have to test it and all, but I think I have the materials to do it. And pardon me for all the darkness. I didn't expect it to be this late when I started filming. Not that it matters much. Let's go ahead and get back to my base. Uh, I, uh, in my next video, I'm, well, like I said, I plan on doing a Christmas special for my next video, but it may be a little late, as long as my fans don't mind, because I'd rather have a really good, a really good setup to show you guys, instead of a rushed, crappy one, but then again, it's up to you guys, I could take my time, make it really good, or be a day or two short, and make it look amazing. Again, I'm not sure how well it will look, considering the thing I need to use is, uh, I need to use a lot of leaves for the decorations, and I'm not sure they'll probably decay now, since they wouldn't be connected to a tree, but it would still hopefully look nice. I could always, I guess, download a, a an alpha version of the game, 
instead and try it on there, but I'm not sure if that would work either. Um, but, let's see. Oh, yes, I also had another good idea. One of my fans suggested it, well, in a way. I kind of took it a different way, but um, one of my fans suggested, hey, you should have a labyrinth uh, going under your base for whenever you forget to, whenever you lock yourself out. Get out of here, cows. Ha, can't come in now, can you? Ha. But no, um, back on subject. Uh, one of them said put like a labyrinth under your base that would have a secret entrance coming here and coming up. So like if you ever lock yourself out, you could just go through the labyrinth and come up through here. Which I thought is a good idea, a really good idea, actually. But the only problem with that is I don't have a lot of space to make like a really big and elaborate, uh, elaborate, yeah, that's the word, uh, maze under here. So I'm not sure how well it would come out. It's a good idea, though, and I might do it depending on how well it works, but we'll see what happens. I have lots of projects I still need to work on. Like I said, my cow statue which I really look forward to actually making, really. It's going to be a big pain in the butt, and I'm not sure I'm going to do the udders, but we'll see. And I think that's going to be it for this video. I don't, I don't really have too much to show off, and I didn't want to do too much while you guys were gone, considering I didn't want to just, you know, leave you guys out of the building process. But, uh... Tell me, tell me what you guys think of my base so far, uh, suggestions for it, like what you think of my towers, how they could be better. Um, like I said, I always love hearing from my fans what you guys think, how you think I could make my videos or my world better. And, of course, I just love getting fan mail. I love hearing what you guys think of me. But um, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you're looking forward to my Christmas special which I plan on posting tomorrow if everything works out because I'm going to spend most of today doing it. But uh, see you guys next time and have a happy holidays.